Marianne, could you tell us the key points so far from the hearings? Charles, lawmakers are scrambling to finish deliberating the budget of the agencies lined up today. So far, they've finished tackling the budget for the uh, information technology and defense, as well as for the Office of the Ombudsman, PIDEA, and the Commission on Human Rights. As promised by DICT budget sponsor Senator Panfilo Lapson, the allocation for the national broadband program will be increased. The agency proposed 18 billion pesos for the NBP, but the budget department only approved 902 million pesos. According to Lapson, the Senate committee reported an additional 3 billion pesos for the initiative. That's on top of the 2 billion peso budget earlier augmented by the House of Representatives. Lapson explained that the competition or the completion of budgetary requirements may lead to a more efficient internet service across the country. Senator Ralph Recto, meanwhile, urged the DICT to address the connectivity issues under the blended learning setup. Senator P. Caetano seconded this, noting that 95% of students are experiencing unreliable connection. As for the Defense Department, the Senate allocated around 58 billion pesos for the Armed Forces Modernization Program. This after an additional 18 billion pesos was added to its 40 billion pesos initial funding approved by the DBM. The money will be reallocated from the funding of the Basis Conversion and Development Authority, or BCDA. Laxon noted that more than 17 billion pesos from the previous AFP modernization fund was transferred to COVID-19 response this year. Meanwhile, senators expressed support for Laxon's proposal to add 50 million pesos for the creation of the Philippine Judiciary Marshal Service. The move is seen to protect judiciary members who have been targets of violence. Charles, the upper chamber is also set to discuss the proposed budget of other agencies. This includes the PhilHealth and the Transportation Department. The lawmakers say that they will be finishing the interpolations tonight before they work on the amendments by next week. Charles? Thank you. Marian Enriquez reporting live from Quezon City.